Right, champs. So I am in a weird, weird situation right now, um, which I didn't didn't expect to be in. So um, I wanted to make this really quick video uh, to kind of explain what's going on um, because, yeah. So okay, things are going extremely well, and <laughs> that's the that's the problem. So things are going going. Um, incredibly well which is uh yeah so honestly this is a fucking weird video to make because i'm like um so I'll, I'll tell you what's going on um i've been uh i've been trying to build this business now for over a year and um things have just like now started to to crank um <laughs> and here's, here's, so here's what happens in the kind of like growth cycle of businesses. Like businesses will go, will go up to the point where things break. And then you have to kind of have like a bit of a, um, what I can, I call a consolidation phase. So I say, I, I like the way I explain it to my clients is that there's growth and then consolidation periods. So growth is where you kind of put the foot down, you put, you just, you just go ham and then things break. Um, and by thing, but when I say things, I, I mean systems. So you just basically lack systems or systems start to fall or fail um, at a certain kind of like point. Um, and then you have to kind of like take the foot off the gas or, or not take the foot off the gas, but like re reprioritize your time and energy to make sure that you focus on the actual priorities. So um, for me, I've just been through, I've just launched my new program, um, uh, Scale 20, which the truth is, is like the initial feedback from my clients has been uh, incredible. I made some massive assumptions about doing things completely different to the rest of the online education space. I'm calling it gamified entrepreneurship. Um, and what I've done is I've come up with a system of uh, skill acquisition and implementation of people's, my client's growth infrastructure in a way that side, side, um, swerves some of the biggest blockers that hold people back from getting results really fast. Um, and the initial signs are really fucking positive. Um, and this is considering I like been, we've been getting banging results for a while now. Um, and this is just going to turbocharge things. So that's the mo most important thing is that the actual, my core business helping people essentially build their own businesses and be able to break free and do whatever the hell they want, wherever they want, with whoever they want. And um, yeah, the good news is, is that is, uh, that's, that's, I feel like that it's an, it's an amazing position and it's only going to get better and better and better. And that's because my, my intent with, uh, with scale 20 is to build the best online coaching experience on the internet. Um, and I've said this before, it's going to be a multi-year journey uh, but this is version one and the initial feedback just after like 10 days is just insane so um thrilled with that so that's the most important thing because that's the fuel of business like your product so product really good i'm still working so i say that i've still got a lot of stuff to build on the back end so i'm building stuff out which is very time consuming um because i'm trying to do things which are log logistically more challenging than what would a typical program would entail um and yeah, so I'm dealing with that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to help people make, you know, build their businesses to 100k a month. Like that's no joke. You know, you know, there's like that's that's not like losing 20 pounds in you know a couple of months. It's this is this is a this can be. I mean, I'm trying to take something complex and make it as simple as possible, so it's as easy as possible to implement and do. So anyway, um, that's going really well. Um, I've also moved out of London, which was a bit of a like, you know, a big kind of shift. And that's definitely knocked me out of some really fundamental habits, which was I was doing super well on, which is very interesting in itself. Um, and looking to do some traveling over the next few months, which has been my dream to be able to escape the UK during the autumn months when it starts getting cold. And um, I'm going to do that, which is sick. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Here's the problem. 
my attempts to grow on social media, um, and I, I documented this in a video like a couple of months ago where I literally did my Instagram strategy. I did a demo where I did, I did it live. I literally showed you how I'm, I was going to do my Instagram strategy. And then I've just delivered on that strategy for the last like two months. And things are absolutely fucking cooking. I've had like, I'm opening my DMs now and I'm getting a lead every minute. I'm getting a new, like literally like an email lead every single minute right now. And so my DMs are a fucking mess. And um, I've got on, a, like, it's looking to be about a thousand new leads within the last like seven days. Um, and which is amazing because I'm that, like I made some assumptions about how to, what content to create, how to create it. Um, I've just implemented a new many chat system, many chat lead generation system, which completely swerves, uh, landing pages. So it takes all the friction away of that, out of that. I've already given that for my, to my clients to plug into their businesses immediately. But, um, here's the annoying thing. I've, um, well, not the annoying thing. This is the, the challenging thing. I have now, I do, I now do not have a lead, a lead flow issue in my business. Um, which n most people typically don't have. They typically have an offer issue. So what I've got to do now is for the next kind of bit of time, and I don't know how long that's going to be, I need to refocus my attention to lead nurturing. So lead efficiency versus lead volume. So um, what that means, and this is by prescription from my new business coach, who is a big YouTuber, by the way. Um, he was like, dude, you need to just take the foot off the gas of content completely. You know, he's, this guy posts, he's got multiple channels, he's this is a content guy telling me not to make content <laughs> and this is because he's got like a he's got like a hundred million dollar business and he knows he can see the 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 challenges and he's like you just have a your constraint issue is the conversion side so it's converting leads into becoming clients and so he's like you need to focus all your attention right now on just that until we fix that and we fix the systems involved with that so um, yeah, this is me. I just wanted to jump on here because the reason I'm jumping on here is because I'm going to stop posting YouTube videos for probably at least a few weeks. Um, and he recommended dropping down to a, a once a month instead of once a week, uh, which was, you know, I've just been drinking the fucking Kool-Aid of like smashing, smashing, smashing content like Gary Vee, Alex Formosi says, and, and I've done it. And now I'm in the, the incredible position where I've, I've got attention I just need to build the systems to make sure I capture attention and I can ascend attention into um, helping people. Um, so, yeah, really interesting because I'm like, you know, I, I really enjoy the content creation process. I love it. There are, there are a number of topics and shit that I want to make content on to help you guys is long. And so right now I'm having to to put put the like, yeah, like... I've got to go against my natural instincts of wanting to help people by putting stuff out there and go and do focus on another part of the business right now and essentially just plug some holes. And that's going to take me a bunch of a few weeks probably to fix. So anyway, I, this is long. This has gone longer than I expected. I just wanted to kind of just jump in here and um, post this video because what I fucking hate is when content creators just dip on their audiences with like no explanation. And then they pop up out of nowhere, like three, you know, six months later or a year later and then it's like yo like nah so I'm, i just wanted to come in here to say i'm not doing that um i would be creating it i'm not like burnt out or like struggling i'm fucking ready to come ready to fucking go that's the challenge here. i'm like i'm like there is so much stuff i want to create on and so but i'm this i, I think the most important thing about this is documenting the waves of business and how it's not just a linear linear it's linear growth and there's multiple things you need to think about um and occasionally it means it re means redirecting your energy to those things and making sure the constraints of your business are fixed and then you can zoom back out see where the other next constraint is so the constraint i have highlighted right now is that i do not have a lead uh, generation issue i have a lead um ascension issue um, or constraint so that's what I'm going to focus on over the next few weeks, which means I'm taking my foot off the gas of YouTube. Um, it means that I'm going to be also doing fewer emails. So I've gone from, go, uh, I'll be going from doing daily emails to probably once or twice a week emails. Um, and I'll be, I'll be keeping Instagram ticking over. 
um because i kind of want to maintain momentum there i feel like i've really cracked you know i feel like i've really cracked the code at least for now um so i'm going to keep that that flywheel turning so hey here we go this is the, the, the reason why this shit is working is because I built a flywheel and I don't have a fucking funnel. So if you want to know exactly why this has started to crank, and it's the same for my all of my, my clients, uh, watch this video over there. Don't know if it's that side. It might be that side. We'll see which one it is. Um, and you'll understand why I use a flywheel, not a funnel, and why I'm in a blessed position to be like, things are going too bloody good right now. Um, so if you want to be in a position like that where you're dealing with great problems <laughs> instead of shit ones um then sick and then yeah uh, make sure to follow me on instagram links down below um and i'll catch you up with you at some point and look if you want to work with me i'm taking on people for scale 20 uh just dm me on instagram 77 that's the number of uh, max clients we got and uh we'll get you to either first 20k milestone you have to already be making money um, you have to have some case studies, at least making three to 5K a month um, and above. And wherever you're at, we're going to help you scale using flywheels, super simple paid ads, an absolutely cult-like um, brand audience. And uh, let's go. Right. Okay. I'll catch up with you at some point.